Oh, gosh. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. All right. See you guys. All right. See you. Good luck. Happy day goes well. Thank you. Well, hello. I'm Stu. This is Benton. That was Erica. We live in a tiny little town in Northeast Oregon called Pendleton. Erica works at our local hospital. I stay with this guy all day, and Benton, well, he pretty much runs the family. Today, I've decided to start not a daily vlog, but a daily story, a daily narrative. I wanna just share the most interesting parts of our days. This isn't gonna be a follow me through my day and watch everything I do. It's gonna be a, this is what happened today, and this is why it was cool. We've been parents now for just about a year, and it still changes every day. Every day is something new. But what I find the most challenging, and what I find the most interesting, is balance. You see, right now, I have to balance being a dad, being a, a husband to Erica, and taking care of four acres of property that has two horses, <laughs> some chickens, and two dogs as well as still taking care of myself. And it's, it's a great day around here if I can figure out how to balance all of those things correctly. <laughs> That's the challenge. Come back, big guy. We got stuff to do. Come here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. The very first thing we're gonna do today is I'm gonna try to get some exercise. He gets exercise all day long. I have a pretty short window in the mornings to get that done. You ready? You see, it used to be really easy to do something like get out the door and go for a run in the morning. And I can still do things like that, but it takes a little bit of planning ahead. And it's now a team effort. Right, big guy? We're gonna go for a run. I used to try to wait for him to go down on naps and run on a treadmill. That never worked out and I got frustrated. So, jogging stroller. That was a perfect solution. You can buy books on baby led weaning and recipes for littles. What I haven't found yet is a book on parents for how to simply lead your life with 13 things to do in a day when you really only have time for four. And while I'm still far from perfect, I don't even know if I'll ever get the sound. The one thing that I have learned so far is that for whatever you need to get done, whatever you want to do, there's always a way. You just have to figure out what that is. We're, uh, we're here at the end of our first loop. We just run around our neighborhood and back because there's really nowhere else good to run. So we just try to keep it on the side roads. All this haze you see in the background, that's from Canada. I guess they've got wildfires up there. And this might be the last day that I can run outside safely before the air quality gets too bad. But that's okay. If you can't run outside tomorrow, I'll figure something else out. All right, we're heading back. First of all, because I don't really have a lot of stamina these days. Second, I've got a lot of other things I gotta get done. <laughs> Now the best way that I know to get everything done that I need to is to be everywhere at once. Well, I'm still working on that. And so is Erica. So until then, until I can get that to work, what I found is the best approach is to divide my time up into very short increments and rotate through all the responsibilities of the day. So for example, this morning, the very first thing that happened was he had breakfast. Then I went for a run because I need to get the run in before it gets too, too hot outside. And now that the run is in, it's time to step down to the next most important priority, feeding the outside animals. Now we have 35 chickens and two horses. Why we have 35 chickens, <laughs> that's a story for another day. But getting them taken care of is the very next step of priorities for me to deal with. 
and it's all perfectly doable. I just have to make sure that I take everyone with me. Those little mealy worm looking things are frozen, flash frozen black fly larvae. Not the most appetizing sounding thing in the world, but they're a really good source of calcium. And these guys, they love them. These guys actually work for a living. And I think they're pretty grateful for their living accommodations. That's probably the most bougie chicken coop in the entire world. Um, before Benton came along, I had a lot of free time and way too much ambition, so I built that. It looks more like a guest cottage now, but it's insulated, keeps the chickens happy. During the summer, we get between a dozen and two dozen eggs every day. Good job, girls. Those chickens are treated pretty well, and I'm fairly certain that they're grateful for the life they have, unlike our next extended family member. This is Shuli. He's a retired reigning horse. He believes that he has worked hard enough in his life and that he deserves a fantastic ret retirement. And if I don't feed him on the right schedule or get to him quick enough or even give him the wrong type of food, he lets me know. Back, 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 back. Back it up, big guy. Back it up. Let me in. Let me in, big boy. Come on. Let me in. I'm pretty sure if it was possible to get negative Yelp reviews for uh, services rendered, I'd be in the negative digits. All right, come on, Shirley. That very fine Palomino you just saw go by, that's Cookie. She's one of the most wonderful horses on the entire planet. She's also a retired rennie horse, but she has had eight kids. She's seen it all, super comfortable, just very, very, very chill and easy going. Sometimes I wish I was more like that horse. A big part of successfully navigating everything that I have to get done is how I weave it all together. It's time to head back in, take care of kiddo. Then after that, it's gonna be time for his nap, and during his nap, that's when I can finally have breakfast and take a shower. Have I talked about the importance of flexibility yet? And just how necessary it is to be able to change plans in the moment? Well, that used to not be me at all. I would have to have my entire week planned out down to the minute, down to the second, and know what I was gonna do at every moment. But not anymore. Someone has cured me of that. Like for example, when I came inside, I got the memo that it was time for third breakfasts. Yeah. By the way, when you're a parent, um, anything you wear is just a napkin for the kid. Yeah. And while he's having third breakfasts, I think I actually have a moment or two to have my first breakfast. <laughs> I was planning on doing that after he went down for his nap, but got to seize the moment. Oh, and it's a lot easier if you're able to eat whatever he's eating. That way I don't have to make two separate things. Strawberries? Yeah, you want some of this? Here you go. Strawberries, big boy, there you go, okay. Strawberries. I'm gonna have one of these myself. A little something, a little something right here. <laughs> and right there. And right here. And right there. <laughs> Hi, got a little something here. And right there, oh, I almost got it, almost got it. Oh, for me? Oh, or, or you want that one? Okay, I'll, I'll take this one, you take that one. Hmm. When the baby starts refusing food, spins around his seat, or cries, or does anything like that, it means that breakfast is over. It's now nap time. All right, buddy, let's go take a nap. Oh, big guy. Okay, he finally went down for his first nap. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have breakfast. I am so hungry. And every morning about this time, about 10.30, I start to fade. And I have to remind myself, oh, it's because you haven't eaten. I haven't figured out yet exactly how to fix this, but that's why it's all still a work in progress. 
The little pieces of strawberry are the ones that I chopped up for him earlier that he didn't eat. I'm not perfect at it yet, but I try really hard not to let anything go to waste around here. Remember how I was talking about flexibility? Well, change of plan. Erica just texted and said she's gonna come home for lunch and she'd love to have a salmon rice bowl. So I'm gonna throw some rice onto the cooker right now so it'll be ready by the time she gets here. Then I just remembered that last night she asked me to water some of the plants that she just put in the front bed. So I'm gonna head outside, do that. And then after that, then after that, maybe I can finally get in the shower. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's done. And just in time too, because Guess who woke up? <laughs> Good morning, big guy. Good morning. Yeah, and back to baby time. Buddy. All right, sorry for the change in video and audio quality, but I just got a text from Erica. She's actually working triage today at the hospital and she's dealing with a patient with uh, blood pressure problems, so she can't make it home for lunch but she asked if kiddo and I can get her lunch to her in the next 20 minutes. No problem. Someone's changed. He's awesome like his mom. I'm going to hop in a quick shower and then uh, throw together the lunch and hit the road. Yeah. Remember what I was saying about changes of plans? I have to admit, even though I'm kind of used to this, today is starting to get just a little bit crazy, even by normal crazy standards. It's kind of extra crazy. Okay, we're out the door, head into the hospital. I've got Erica's lunch right here, baby bottle. I actually made Erica a lunch and a dinner because I think she's gonna have to stay there kind of late tonight to finish up paperwork. But we're off, running about five minutes behind. You know, it's about all about doing the best you can in the moment. We'll still get there uh, before her lunch hour ends and she'll have time to eat this and that's what really matters all right big guy let's hit the road hey kiddo look who's here there she is hey, hey, hey. hi we did oh. not expect to see you here oh i gotta go back out okay you all right i am uh salmon lunch and dinner there's one in each there's two containers okay. well, um what's he supposed can, to eat i can hold them uh let me hold this until you're done with them what's he supposed to eat Oh, uh, one for you, one for him. <laughs> oh, cute. Good luck. Love you, guys. I'll see you later. Love you very much. See you later, sweet boy. Oh, I know. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Well, that was completely unexpected. I'm going to have to pause a minute. Someone's unhappy because he only saw mom for like a minute and a half. Oh, big guy, I'm sorry. Apparently Erica was heading from um, the triage area back up to her office and she saw us out the window parking. I barely had time to get the kid out of the chair. I turned around and there she was. And she only had time to hang out for like a minute and a half, which is super sad. And then she had to get back in. I guess she's worried about her patient having a seizure or something like that. So again, it's the best you can do in the moment, but not as all as planned. What we are planning to do was to come to the grocery store, see if I can make the best use of time possible and not waste a trip out, then I can get more in the day. Yeah. Our first stop is always olives. I give him a can of olives to uh, hold on to in the store. Keeps him pretty happy. And if he drops it, no big deal. It's a metal can. Perfect baby distraction. Ginger root, ginger root, smell it. No, don't eat it, don't, whoa, go, oh, no. Oops, I'm trying to get him just to smell the ginger root, but no, yes, eat it, oh no. <laughs> Did you get a piece of it? Oh no. All right, come 
complete that fail. Well, I wasn't watching. He grabbed a piece of the ginger and shoved it in his mouth. But I think I got to it in time. <laughs> All's well. You okay, big boy? You okay? Yeah, he's doing fine. One juice. Can't wait for that to be on the toothbrush there, big guy. Benton's babysitter Landry is here right now watching him downstairs. And I've decided that the best way I can get everything done in one day is to try to edit these videos while he's with a babysitter or when he's asleep. While well, we got home from the grocery store, he did not go down for a nap. Now, <laughs> Landry's been here for 45 minutes and he's acting tired. Oh boy. But if I put him down while she's here, I have to take her home then he's gonna wake up because I have to take him with me and be really unhappy. So I'm gonna have to take her home early with Benton and then bring Benton back to hopefully go down for the night. And yeah, I don't, don't know, don't know when this is gonna get finished. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a late night. <laughs> we just got back from uh, dropping off his babysitter. Um, I'm gonna give him some dinner and hopefully be able to get him down for bed. <laughs> And probably soon after that, do the same thing myself because I'm tired. Oh, here comes that sprinkler. Ah, watch out for the sprinkler! <laughs> sprinkler, got, did it get you? Did it get you? No? Okay, let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah, more avocado toast, big boy. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> no? I didn't expect him to start throwing his toast. Why wouldn't I expect you to throw your toast? You know, hey, you want some more? <coughs> All right, that means he's either not hungry or just wants something else. Yeah. I'm gonna try something else first. And if he's not hungry anymore, then, then it's bedtime. Want some blueberries? Want some blueberries? <laughs> That's, I shouldn't laugh. Every, I know every time I laugh, it encourages him to do whatever it is that he's doing, but I can't help myself. That's what it was. He just wanted something besides avocado toast. That's okay. I'll eat your avocado toast. Ah. Oh, is that a smooch? You gave me a, he gave me a smooch. Thank you. Mwah. What a great guy. Um, I'm gonna put him down for bed, but Erica just texted and said she's going to stay late tonight. Um, I thought that might be the case, but I hate it when I'm right in these situations. And uh, she asked if we could FaceTime for a little bit. I said, yes, we can FaceTime. So we're just gonna do that. <gasps> Another smooch! What have I done to get so lucky? Oh, good boy. I love this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's so good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, kiddo is asleep. He went down pretty easily after that FaceTime call. I think he was just happy to see mom and after that he was just relaxed and ready to sleep. Um, but I was thinking and I was thinking back to everything that happened today and I realized that just the act of filming a daily narrative has made me so aware of how rich and full my life is now how much I've got going on, how difficult it is to raise a kid and how far from perfect I am, but just how satisfying and enjoyable it is. I don't remember the last time I've been this happy. All right, well, hey, I'm out. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like we've got some thunder and lightning coming in from the south. Hmm. Interesting.